The buzz around this section of Calvert Cliffs is about the find of a fossilized whale. The discovery was made by a group of students and a professor from Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. Erosion on the cliff exposed the whale head. Here's what we know about the skull. It's likely a baleen whale from the Miocene era, and according to scientists, the whale was likely decomposing because there were a number of shark teeth recovered. It's not unusual to find fossilized whale bones along Calvert Cliffs. In fact, they found this one about 10 years ago, but this newest find is a lot different. The size of the skull. So it's an animal that had a skull that was about six feet long. That is unusual for the finds along uh, the cliffs, Calvert Cliffs, and along other tributaries flowing into the Chesapeake Bay. Um, and also because it's so complete, we think we have uh, virtually all the skull, and associated with the skull uh, was much of the rest of the skeleton. Inside the Calvert Marine Museum, there is a mock-up of the cliffs. You can see the various periods on different strata marked by various colors. It's also where John Nash is painstakingly taking his time to uncover the fossil. We want to be able to tell the full story. We want to know the, the whole picture and what this animal would have looked like 15 million years ago. It will take hundreds of hours to uncover the various pieces. Patrons will be able to see the work in progress and eventually it will become a permanent part of the museum's collection. In Solomon's Island, I'm Charles Robinson.